So we are back once again with a new Ryzen video and it's been almost 5 months since AMD's Ryzen APU launch and it's just been around like 2 weeks ago since we had a driver update. So for today's video, we will be doing a quick comparison with AMD's new 18.5.1 Adrenaline driver as compared to the old initial driver of 17.7.1 Crimson driver. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be another Ryzen APU test. It's gonna be a quick comparison between the old initial driver with the new one, which is the 18.5.1. So my test setup is, gonna, is still gonna be the same. I'll be using the 2200G on Astrax AB350M Motherboard Pro 4. And it's gonna be cooled by Deepcool's Icewind Pro 4. As for my RAM, I will be using 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Trident Z RGB DDR4 RAMs. So I'll be running the test on my overclock settings too. So it's gonna be on a 3.85 gigahertz for the CPU, 1340 for the GPU, while the RAM frequency is gonna be running at 2933, 2933 megahertz. And with that, let's go to the charts. So with our benchmarks out, we could see that there's little to no difference in most games. Some have a 1 to 3 FPS difference, but we could account that in the variance of the said games since they don't have a in-game benchmark utility with it. So frame to frame comparison is quite impossible. Though there are some games that are worth mentioning such as in Overwatch where we saw an increase of 8% in the average FPS. At the same time, an 11% increase on its 1% lows. The rendering device loss bug that plagued the Crimson drivers before too was already fixed in this patch. Other games also received an increase in their 1% lows such as in Doom's Vulcan Engine, CSGO, and PUBG. Meaning you'll have a smoother gameplay even if the average FPS didn't change at all. But there are some games that had an FPS decrease such as games like Tekken 7 and World of Warships. Other key notable things that you'll find in this patch is the inclusion of Radeon Overlay, updated Radeon Chill, and at the same time their mobile app integration, the AMD Link. Having a unified driver for both the APU and discrete GPU is also a big plus, but sadly Radeon Relief is still nowhere to be found in the APU's section. So for my conclusion, 
Updating your APU or GPU driver is still required from time to time since it will provide bug fixes, uh, driver support for newer games, and at the same time, increase FPS in some games, especially for the newer ones. And lastly, please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and at the same time, hit that bell button for notifications to my new videos. Thank you and see you in the next one.